Hi everybody. Hopefully this is going to be a relatively short tutorial. Um, it's not how to use Blender, it's how to solve a certain problem in Blender. As you can see on my screen, I'm modeling a Boeing 777. Okay. For all those that have modeled and understand this concept, this is, this is um, pretty self-explanatory, but everything on the right side of the screen, on the right side of this red line, is what I'm actually uh, modeling. Anything that's on the left side of that red line is based on a mirror modifier, okay? So I'm only working with half of the airplane, and it does the other half for me, so I got, so both of my halves are symmetrical. Here lies in the problem of what I'm doing, okay? If you notice, the origin of the aircraft, actually, uh, the origin of everything that I'm creating is, is right here, right down the center line of the airplane. So when I work on this engine, if I add that engine over here and the origin is right here, then my mirror is going to offset the same distance on the other side of that line. Pretty easy to understand. Now, here's where the problem uh, falls. Now, some of you might know this, but I have not seen a video on the internet that talks about this. If I'm wrong, let me know, okay? So anyway, what I'm doing now is I am working on the main landing gear of this 777. And on the main landing gear, I'm only working with one tire. Uh, I'll create one, one tire and rim and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll copy it in all its other places so I don't have to reduplicate it. Okay. But the problem is, is working with arrays. I have an object that I need to array, and that is the lug nuts that go around the rim of the tire. Now, easy enough, arrays are easy. You have an empty in the middle. You associate the uh, array of the object that you're working with with that empty, and then you rotate it around that particular axis. Pretty easy to understand. However, it's based on the origin of the object that you are arraying, okay? This lug nut origin is all the way at the front to the nose of the aircraft along the center line. I have to have my origin there or my mirroring won't put this lug nut on the wheel that's on the other side of the aircraft in the mirror mode, right? So what I need to do in order to array these lug nuts around this rim is I need to temporarily move this or the origin of this lug nut to match the empty that I'm going to put right smack in the middle of this axle. Okay, so I got my 3D cursor right on the edge of the hub of the wheel. All right, and what I'm going to do is, whoops, um, I better do this, put that back. Now it may not be in the exact same, may not be in the exact center, but I can deal with that later. Okay, so right there, got it kind of in the middle again. Get off of that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an empty, and it's going to place that empty right where that 3D cursor is. Okay, so we do a shift A to add a new object, and we're going to add an empty plane axis. Okay, then I'm going to go into front view. And there's the front view of my wheel, my tire. I'm going to turn X-ray on so I can see, see my lug nut. Right there is my lug nut right there. All right. Now, what I need to do is I need to move that empty to the base of the lug nut, which sits right here. Okay. So I'm going to just move that over to the base of the lug nut, about right there. Okay. And then I'm going to go back into my plan view. All right, so now the empty is directly underneath the base of this lug nut. The next step is I need to move that 3D cursor to the base of the lug nut as well. Well, the base of the lug nut, 
I mean, that location is where that empty is, right? So we do a shift S and we move the cursor, the 3D cursor to the selected. Okay, my, my empty is selected, you notice that. So cursor to selected. So now if I go to front view, that 3D cursor is now moved to the base of that lug nut. All right, now I'm all set up almost to do my array with the exception of one thing. I need, and the reason I moved the 3D cursor is because I'm now going to move the origin from the front of the plane of this lug nut to the location of the 3D cursor. So I select the lug nut and I come up here to object and I set origin and I set my origin to the 3D cursor. So now my origin is right smack in the middle. It's the same place where I added that empty and moved it to the base of the lug nut. Now things start to become a little easier to understand. So I come over here now, I got my lug nut selected and I'm gonna add a modifier and we're gonna add an array modifier. So I have my setup, my properties for my array. We're gonna leave that at a fixed count and our count is going to be 14 because there's 14 lug nuts on a triple seven. Notice that they all show up in a line right here. Okay. And we are going to uh, turn off relative offset. And we're going to come down here to object to offset. And that object that we're offsetting off of is going to be that empty that we added earlier. Okay, so now it put 14, uh, four lug nuts on there. Now, I found an easy way to, instead of using the rotate tool and everything and try to get this right, just hit N to bring up the properties. And I know by math that 14 divided into 360 is 25.714 degrees. And I hit enter and it automatically places those 14 lug nuts around that rim, okay? So, now, here's the thing, all right? We have the origin of our lug nut set to the axle, the same place that that empty is. Now, if I go in and I add a modifier, a mirror modifier, select that, mirror modifier, and my mirror modifier goes on top, okay? And I change that from the x-axis to the y-axis because the, y -ax the x-axis runs from the front of the plane to the back of the plane. The y-axis runs along the wings, right? So I got a mirror modifier on there along the y. Now, if I zoom out, you're going to notice, and I'm going to flip to the other side of the airplane, you're going to notice on this mirrored wheel, those lug nuts aren't showing up because the base, the offset for that mirror is based on this new origin that I have set for that lug nut, which is on the axle. We need to change that. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to zoom right back in where we were and with our lug nuts now, Here's, here's where you have to be careful. If I changed that origin of these lug nuts back to the uh, original origin, the world origin, this array will be undone. It will just, it'll fly apart. It'll go in a weird place, okay? Because right now, this array is based on this origin, not the airplane's origin. If I change this origin that the array is based to the world, then my, my lug nuts are going to be all over the place. It's not going to be where I want them. So what I need to do now, before I move the object's origins back to the world, I have to apply this array. So basically come over here to your property stack with your lug nut selected and apply that array. Okay, now I can change the origin, okay, and if I applied the array, but still I don't have 
it's still not mirrored on this tire in my mirror image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that origin back to the front of the airplane where it belonged. Okay. And then the mirror should work. Okay. So let's get to the right spot. So I got my lug nuts selected. My array has been applied. I still have my mirror uh, modifier on. And what I do is I come up to object. Oh, I can, let's, let's do this. Let's do a shift S. Oops. Let's do a shift S. Try it one more time. Shift S. Let's move the 3D cursor back to the world origin. Okay. Did that work? Oh, let's try again. Let's uh, 3D cursor, shift S, cursor to world origin. There we go. Now it's back to the front of the airplane, right up here, right where it's supposed to be. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Now with my lug, lug <laughs> I always forget to. I always forget to get off of that one. All right, with my lug nut selected, okay, I come up to object, set origin, and set my origin to the 3D cursor. Now, I come back over to the other side of my aircraft, and now my lug nuts are being mirrored correctly. Okay, so be be aware the origins of your model when you're using the uh, mirror modifier modifier in your editing. So you can get this kind of stuff uh, taken care of. If this is helpful, leave comments. Uh, if you guys have a different way around this, please, please put them in the comments. I welcome uh, this is just one way of doing it. If you guys have a different way of doing it, uh, be sure to leave a comment. Anyway, hope this helped. We'll see you later.